uh, came across the line with a, a bit of a fist bump. Uh, right? Let's try that again. You came across the line with a bit of a fist bump and a smile on your face. Happy yeah. with that fight? Yeah, that's probably about all I could have done. So uh, it feels good to do that. <laughs> we just talked to Don. Uh, he said there were some best described as shenanigans going on earlier in the race. A lot of bumping. Did you see any traffic to deal with? Yeah, I saw it ahead of me and chose to stay out of it. And what did you see? Uh, a lot of jostling. I've been on the circuit for a long time. I've been caught up in that and gone backwards very quickly. Uh, so I decided to stay on the rail, kind of keep an eye on the front. Uh, almost got me a little bit when they took off uh, with four laps to go or whatever that was. Uh, but luckily came back a little bit. Um, and yeah, I just I think I ran as short a distance as I could have run. Uh, didn't go with any wild pace changes and was able to kind of clean up on the last lap. And final question from us, just kind of reflect on this experience here. You got three guys in Team USA in yeah. the top ten. Got three women going in the final, uh, so all six go on. Yeah. Um, you know, good for the sport, good for this event, and good for Team USA. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, the steeple was quite bad, and I was a part of that. Um, so it feels good to, you know, have them come in here, really raise the game uh, for USA. He's running 8, 12, 8, 13, and 14. Uh, it's really fun to do, and prepares you a little bit more for something like this. Um, yeah, so this race was, I have no idea what my splits were, but it felt similar to that. Um, I felt probably a little better today. Um, but I, I, I don't even know what my time was. Do you know what my time was? 14. Same time. Congratulations. Thanks. Dan, did you expect to beat Evan today? No. I feel a little bad that I did. Uh, the decision to go straight to the back, off at the beginning, was that in the plans from the start? Not necessarily in the back. I wanted to give it uh, 200 meters, 300 meters to kind of see what the race was doing. Uh, I never really liked to be in the back. Um, but, but like I said earlier, you know, being in the junk, I've, I've, I've been there so many times and gone backwards just so fast. Um, and so I, yeah, so I just was content to stay in the back, kind of key off uh, Matty H a little bit. Uh, she's got some experience in this level. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, that's kind of why I was in the back. I wanted to run the shortest distance and I wanted to expend as little energy as possible. Does this make you think that a medal could be possible next year? I mean, not really. Um, it's great if it's there, but I'm never going to be racing for a medal because that's not how I'm going to execute best. I mean, Evan ran for a medal and, you know, it's, it's difficult to do. It's a big risk. Um, so it's to run for a medal, you know, it's you got to be in eight flat shape and you got to be able to race in a bunch of different scenarios, um, so yeah, I, I mean it doesn't change my preparation. Wait a second. I just like to make an Olympic team, I've never made a team. So. I mean fifth, could you imagine that coming on to, I mean you just wanted to make the final coming in. Fifth place, you said that would be a top end goal, yeah. you kick to it, I mean that's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, I mean I didn't just want to make the final, I mean I knew I should be in the final. I, I more wanted to make a final because I missed three finals uh, in embarrassing fashion, so um, yeah, I mean I was seated something like seventh, and I thought if I ran the race like I did, that maybe fifth would come to me. I was hoping it was a Kenyan. Uh, it's a shame it was Evan, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, fifth is what I thought I could do on my best game. What, what do you think about being the top first, you know, top non-Kenyan in the world right now? Feels pretty good. I, I wish I had. That's the first time I've ever beaten Evan. Uh, I wish I had beaten him a couple years ago when we bet each other's hair that I had to grow my hair out for a year. That was pretty embarrassing, but um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not like too elated to be that. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of gutted for him. I, I knew that he really, really wanted a medal. He's trained so hard and raced just so well this year. Uh, so um, he probably deserves a medal more than I deserve fifth place. You know, in practice, has he been doing well and significantly ahead of you? I mean, he, yeah, um, we, we do all the same workouts as the whole team all, all year. Um, he, he was getting me pretty good in May and June, um, and then when we went back to Park City, um, I was a little closer to him. Um, Jerry kind of adjust workouts a little bit, either have me take a rep off or run a rep slower, because he, he, he just usually crushes me at altitude. So, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, his training, as I'm sure you guys saw in Paris, and uh, I know you guys haven't seen him until then, but I mean, yeah, it's been it's been unbelievable. Uh, we've been both feeling pretty good uh, for the past two weeks, so yeah, yeah, it's just it's just back to Diamond League. Uh, hopefully, he can break eight in nine days. That'd be great for him, and hopefully, I can get a PR. Yeah. Um, 
you know, in working out with a group, is it better than when you first joined the group? I remember they kind of used to make fun of you, sort of a little bit, like, hey, we just, queuing was near us today. That was just Chris. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I joined the group, not, not in very good shape, so I wasn't even finishing workouts for a couple months. Uh, but yeah, for the past couple years, I've been doing really, really good workouts. I'll occasionally have some some sub stinkers in there. Um, obviously, it's a just a high quality group, but if you're not having a great day, it's easy to get dropped. So um, yeah, the things, things the group is good. I'm Love as, it. I'm not as tired as I used to be, so uh, that's good. And you know, uh, yeah, things are going well, and look to continue this next year. Uh, obviously, you were getting prepared for your race, but thoughts on your teammate Emily and Pelton? Yeah, uh, Evan and I were watching it in the room. They're trying to usher us through the tunnel, and we would not move. Uh, so we wanted to watch the entire lap. Both of us jumped up and get down, got chills down our whole body. Like, really, really excited. I almost like couldn't focus on my race for a bit. Made sure to go give her a big hug right uh, before the race during my stride out. Just thrilled for her. And, uh, so that was a good way to get the uh, final start. I mean, her incredible ascent this year kind of yeah. defines the spirit of the sport. We've seen her talent like all year. I mean, she's had some untimely injuries and it prevents her from racing, but we've seen her do workouts and uh, she's had some great success on the roads the past couple summers. And so, yeah, yeah, I mean, we know her talent level. And, uh, it, was, it was a little surprising, but at the same time, not surprising. You know, you get fifth today. What, what's left for you in your career? What's the next box to check? I just gotta make it an Olympic team. I'm horrible in the Olympic year, so hopefully next year will be a better uh, year. I've I've been top three every year of my career except for the two Olympic years. So no pressure, no pressure, and I'll be like the oldest first-time Olympian. So. <laughs>